Uh, the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office initiated a uh, undercover drug operation beginning in uh, February of this year, uh, all the way up until August 1st. Um, we're working with the Cheatham County citizens who um, who, who have called and um, are very concerned about the drug activity in our county and and the help with the citizens has led us to where we are today. Um, our, our main focus was the prescription or is the prescription pill problem we're having in our county. Um, the majority of the buys that we made of individuals are ones we bought uh, prescription pills, uh, crystal meth, heroin, and, and some marijuana. Because we've had several drug overdoses and drug overdose deaths in Cheatham County, this is something that we had to address and, um, and, and the county took a, 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 top, a first row on it and this is going to be our actually our first phase that's uh, going to be continuing on. Um, all law enforcement counties, all law enforcement agencies throughout the counties have, uh, have kind of joined in also and so we're hoping this will have an effect on them in fighting the, the heroin and the, the fentanyl problem that we're having in, in the county. Uh, investigators presented um, 57 individual cases. There were 57 individuals who were indicted uh, in the Cheatham County Grand Jury this week and uh, starting this morning is when we went out and, and, and started picking these, these people up. Uh, this morning, deputies along with every law enforcement agency in the county, uh, TBI, Tennessee Highway Patrol, um, the 23rd Judicial Drug Task Force, and the Davidson County Sheriff's Office joined in to uh, assist us in, in this drug roundup. The, um, the remaining drug peddlers that we did not indict, I, I do want to give them a, a message. Three things that they think about doing. Stop now, leave the county, or, or keep on peddling your poison and we're going to come out and get you. And th this is just the beginning of our, our process here in the, in the county. Uh, I want to ask you that if, uh, if you have someone that you know is dealing drugs, uh, please call our sheriff's office. You can call at 615-792-2021. You can also get on the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office Facebook page and send a, a private message, or you can email drug tips um, at CheathamCounty.gov also. So there's different ways uh, that um, citizens can, can contact us. Your, your information will remain confidential. And uh, this, as I repeat, this is the, the first stage of, uh, of our, our future here in the county in going after these drug dealers. Any questions? On? Can you, oh, sorry. Um, can you confirm how many arrests were made up to now? Up to now, I think we have 24 to 25 arrests that are already made, I, I believe. So we're, we're almost halfway there. Uh, deputies are out in, in the county uh, conducting uh, arrest as we speak. From what you found in this whole operation, is there any pattern that you saw in terms of how they're getting the drugs? That's a good question. You can, you can answer that. No, it, it, all, it all seems to be it's either see the prescription pills that are that are coming from a regular doctor's appointment, and uh, we're seeing those pills actually hit the street, and uh, of course we're seeing a lot of heroin, and uh, a lot of it's coming out of the Nashville area and uh, and we're also seeing a lot of crystal meth here lately too so it's uh, it's here mm. just one of our cases have you seen uh that they made an arrest and they, they they caught the individual with with heroin on him and they they came here and tested it so it's uh it, it's out here in our communities our, our main concern is the number of drug overdose deaths that we've been confronted with and uh we want to we want to drop those numbers and this is the first step. Uh, the next step for them is if they want treatment, you know, they have to reach out and, and, and request it and ask for it. Unfortunately, we're the ones who, who go after the lawbreakers, but it's, it's more than just that. It's, it's also getting treatment for your addiction. And we know most drug users don't want to be uh, addicted, and most of them want help, or a lot of them want help, but it's the dealers who are pushing this out, the ones right now that we're concentrating on. Can you talk about the former TDOT employee who you guys are Christopher Askew is his name. I'm, I'm not very familiar with, with him personally. But yeah, we, I'm not either. Okay. What's your question? Just, you know, former TDOT employee arrested today. I mean, is that, that's kind of alarming. Is 
Right. We, we've had, I think the range went from, I guess, 16 years of age all the way to 73 years of age. We have grandparents who are dealing, and we, we have multi-generation families. We, we just brought in both, I think, the daughter and, and, and mother, yeah. and so it's, it, it's, uh, it's not just your, who you think it is a stereotype of who a drug dealer is. A lot of times these are just, you know, these are regular people and grandparents and great-grandparents, so we're, we're looking at also senior citizens who are, who are dealing as well, which is a little shocking. Money. Yeah, it's all financial gain. Yeah. Very lucrative, and there's there's a lot of money involved where someone can sell their prescription pills, and they get them, and they, they, they sell them out to the community, and they're it, it's all about not making money. Jeremy, you were involved in this from day one, so kind of just tell us what today was like where you finally. It's rewarding. Uh, after working 16, 20 hour days, uh, it pays off on days like today. So I guess what was the whole the, the process for you like this whole time, this past what, year and a half, you were saying? Because you were yeah, we, we part of it. yeah, about a year, year and a half. I mean, how good he is. He 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 was a deputy beforehand. Then we when he when he started working undercover, he um, actually bought drugs from a person he arrested, and the guy just I guess didn't recognize him. Yeah. <laughs> what was I guess what were some of the kind of more scary times in the undercover world? Buying drugs or stuff. Or kind of something you didn't think you'd ever really find yourself in. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, he's he's going into the places that you, you, you can't imagine the the way they live, and so uh, it, it, there's you know, and you're dealing with also not only just that, but you're dealing with 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 families where children are around all these drugs, and it's it's just, and then we have to deal uh, with that with social services and all that, and calling them in. So it's a it's a sad situation where um, a lot of people have chosen their they're dealing over everything else and even their, their families. When you've got a situation where you, you know someone's inside a house, but it's not their house, what's that like? There's really nothing you can do. No. Frustrating? Yep. Yeah, Anything? He yeah, he chatters a lot. You know, uh, he's sweating right now. I think we're all sweating. If that's, if that's all the questions, appreciate you guys. Thank you all for coming out. Walt Disney World. We're all. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, this is a big thing. Yeah. But I mean, just stop now. I mean, it, it, you know, we, 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 we actually continue the fight. We're, we're going to continue the fight from here on out, and uh, we're going to be fighting the war on drugs every day out here in Cheatham County. So, so this is going to continue. We're, we're going to continue to conduct undercover operations. Uh, we're going to continue to be out here on the streets looking for drugs and uh, trying to make the county as safe as we can. But you find it odd that you went from uh, cocaine, marijuana, Drugs to heroin, lactile heroin. I mean, you guys got to learn a whole new culture. I mean, this is different. It is different, and the scary thing is that uh, we're seeing a lot of the uh, the heroin that's laced with fentanyl, and uh, of course, it's it's very it's a very dangerous substance. It's very toxic. You get it on your skin, and it can kill you. So. You know, we we thought, you know, back when we were young, you know, heroin was the end game, and and, and now we have so many people who are. Who, who are now turning to it, and it is cheaper than prescription pills. That's that's one reason why we're seeing an upstart. Um, but it's it's every state, it's, and and some states are worse off than Tennessee, where they're having countless number of overdose deaths. It, it truly is an epidemic, and it's it's hit Cheatham County just like it's Nashville and and every other county. And as in law enforcement, it, it really worries us to death. It, it it really worries us sick because we're going out here on these calls, and we're going out here. Uh, the ones who are overdosing, you know, we're trying in vain to save their lives, and we're equipped right now to be able to to, to do that, to, to hopefully save some of the lives out here. And so, but it's it's a frustrating part of it too. Can you talk about just some of the dangers your deputies face coming out there because they're kind of going in, up, you know, blind. They don't know who these uh, people are. If they have weapons or anything. Well, and, and that's just it. You never know when you walk up to that door what you're dealing with and whether they're high, whether they're they're armed. Um, it's it's every it's an everyday uh, threat and everyday uh, you know, concern that we have. But we're also it's about officer safety for us, and and that's why we go in you know in numbers, and that's why we we exercise a lot of caution. We just don't go barreling in. But uh, for the most part, we know who the people are. We know their background before we're going in. 
but still, there's always that, that one moment. But thank you all very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.